Hi guys, welcome back to another Mindful Motherhood Monday. If you're new around here, I do these videos every Monday at 7 p.m. So please just subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. And this week's topic is about a phrase that I've heard a lot since being a mum, and I'm sure lots of you have heard it as well. And it's the phrase, you can't pour from an empty cup. Do you know this phrase? Have you heard it before? And if you have, do you think it's had an impact in your life in any way, at any point in your life? Have you ever thought deeply about that phrase and what it means and how it's actually very, very true? And I had a light bulb moment this week and I wanted to kind of share with you the way that that, that phrase made me feel and how I feel differently about it now. And just discuss this because I'm sure lots of you will have opinions on this subject or will have gone through a, a similar situation or a stage in your life where you felt like that phrase describes your life. So yeah, let's talk about that. But before I get on, I just wanted to say I'm filming this video with a different camera because I couldn't charge my camera battery in time to film this video. So I had to use this one. I hope you guys don't mind. I hope you don't notice any difference. Um, I've also had my hair dyed slightly darker. Um, I'm feeling very autumnal now. I think my hair was looking a little bit damaged when it was lighter and it was time for a change. So yeah, a couple of changes. Also, I'm filming sitting on my day bed, my kind of guest bed. So yeah, lots of boring things. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get on with the video. So the idea for this video came about when we were all in the car, we had been in the car for a while, my one year old was asleep and my three year old was just full of beans. <laughs> he had so much energy, so many questions and I was just giving and giving and giving all my patience, all my entertainment, answering all the questions, basically doing everything that I do every day and just giving, 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 giving. But then it got to a point where I just had nothing left to give after a really long time of having so much patience and giving him everything he wanted, answering all his questions. All I wanted was for the baby to stay asleep and for my three-year-old to be happy and for me to have two minutes to look at my phone or to, I don't know what I was doing, I was replying to a message or something. And I just lost my patience and I raised my voice. And I'm sure lots of us have been there before, haven't we? When we just lose our patience. And for me, that moment, you know, it's not the first time I've lost my patience with my kids, it happens. But it, at that particular moment, I felt kind of really guilty and very introspective about the whole thing. And I started to think, why did I lose my patience? Why, why did that happen? And it, it, that phrase then came to my mind straight away. You can't pour from an empty cup. I can't keep on giving and giving and giving and not refill my cup. And um, that's what happened. And it then clicked. It only took me three and a half years for that phrase to finally click in my mind. I had heard it so many times. I had actually thought about it. I had notes on my phone that I'd written about it because I'm weird like that. And when I think about things, I like to write notes about it. But it, it had never get, got to a point where I had to think about it and apply it to my life. And when I did that, I didn't feel guilt anymore. I felt sorry for myself. I felt quite sorry that I wasn't looking after myself in the same way that I was looking after everyone. And it was that at that point when I realized that actually, if I have to ignore my three-year-old for two minutes, if I have to not answer his questions for two minutes, just so that I can take a deep breath and refill my cup of patience, of ideas, of compassion, of everything, then surely that is the best thing to do rather than lose my patience. And it clicked and I just had a moment, a light bulb moment and ever since then, every time I feel my cup being empty or being drained, I think about my cup. It sounds weird, I like talking in metaphors and talking about cups and whatever, but that's how I visualize it now. When I see myself losing my patience or when I see myself feeling exhausted and overwhelmed and drained, often it's because my cup is empty. You know, I am not looking after myself and I'm not taking time for myself. And 
if I just do that for a minute, it makes such a difference. It makes a huge difference. I've realized that more often than not now, when I lose my patience, when I'm feeling overwhelmed, is because my cup is empty and there's nothing left to give. I've given so much of myself and I've taken care of everyone and I'm not taking care of myself. And I know it's hard to take care of ourselves as mums, isn't it? It's, to me, it's one of the hardest things to do because it's like I'm adding another thing to my to-do list. I've already got so much to do and now I've got to add another thing. I've got to give breakfast to two kids and now I've got to give breakfast to myself. That's three things I need to do instead of two things. It's so much easier to just do the kids and then, you know, time will pass and I won't be hungry anymore until lunchtime when I can just eat whatever is left or it's that kind of not taking care of myself and not taking care of ourselves as mums that we need to stop doing and start thinking it's not just a case of not having breakfast or not having lunch but feeding the kids it's a case of it's gonna get to the end of the day and I'm gonna be running so low on patience on just I won't want to give any more to anyone because I've got nothing left to give and all I have is snapping and being impatient with impatient with everyone and then I'll get angry and I'll get frustrated and all of that simply because you just didn't take time for yourself. Now I know obviously there are times when that's not the issue but on a day-to-day -day basis I think for me and I, I know a lot of mums as well all you need is that little bit of time to just refill your cup. Sorry my battery died whilst I was in the middle of a very interesting and deep trail of thought and now I have no idea what I was trying to say. <laughs> Anyway, so I just want you guys to remember that we're mums, but we're not invincible, you know? We are allowed to take time for ourselves, and we should, and we need to. And if we don't take care of ourselves, we can't take care of our family, we can't take care of our children. If we are ill, if we are poorly, if we are angry, we can't give them what they need because we don't have what they need, or we don't have that patience, we don't have that happiness or that creativity. We need to fill it up, so that we can give it to others. And you need to keep refilling it often. That's the most important thing. You don't wanna to get to a point where your cup is empty before you refill it. And I hope you guys are not getting lost in all these metaphors. Um, I hope it's clear enough what I'm trying to say. Be mindful of the fact that you might be looking after everyone else, but not looking after yourself enough. I'm trying my best to be mindful of that because I know that that's a big problem for me and I find it a burden to look after myself. I, it, I'm kind of ashamed to admit it because why should it be a burden? But I kind of do. It's like, like I said before, it's another thing on my to-do list. But I am being more mindful of the fact that my kids need me to look after myself. My family needs me to look after myself and I need to look after myself so that I can feel good about the things that I'm doing. And so that I don't lose my patience or give too much that I feel like I'm so overwhelmed. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it made you feel a little bit more introspective, made you think about the way you parent and how you can do certain things to change and to be a better parent. Be more present, be more mindful, more in the moment with your children and ultimately enjoy parenting more than ever. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and join in with Mindful Motherhood on social media by tagging your own thoughts and your experiences and anything to do with these kinds of topics that I talk about with the hashtag Mindful Motherhood Moment. It's a great way to find like-minded people and to just share your thoughts in a way that other people understand you as well because we're all there for the same reason. I love Instagram for my inspiration for Mindful Motherhood content. I find so many accounts there. Maybe I'll leave a list linked in the description box below of the accounts that I like the most if you're into that sort of thing. I hope you're having a lovely day and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!